Heavenly Father, I thank you for the gift of a new day and for the breath of life. In the face of uncertainties, I find solace in the unchanging truth that you are my rock, fortress, and refuge. Lord, I ask for your guidance as I embark on this new day. Be the compass that directs my path and the light that illuminates my way. In moments of uncertainty, grant me the wisdom to discern, the strength to persevere, and a heart that seeks your will above all else. Lord Jesus, be the centre of my thoughts, the foundation of my actions, and the source of my joy. May your love flow through me, touching those I encounter. Leave a like for this video and share it at least one time to help us reach more people. Spread the gospel and change more lives comment using the word Amen. In the face of whatever you're dealing with today, God wants you to know that your help comes directly from Him, the Creator of heaven and earth. We're about to embark on a heartfelt prayer together, calling on God for divine protection and abundant blessings in the name of Jesus. Stay with us until the end, open your heart, and be ready to receive the uplifting power of this prayer. Help me to be a beacon of hope, kindness and compassion in a world that often needs it. I surrender this day to you, trusting that you go before me, and I place my steps in your hands. Heavenly Father, I surrender my worries and burdens to you, Grant me the peace that surpasses all understanding and fill me with your joy as I face the challenges of this day. Remind me that your grace is sufficient and your mercies are new every morning. Lord, I pray for protection over my loved ones and myself. Surround us with your angels, guarding us from harm and keeping us in your perfect peace. Thank you, Father, for the promise of this new day and the opportunities it brings. Thank you for being my rock, my savior, and for the assurance that with you I am secure. May I live this day in a way that honors you and reflects your love to those around me. As your word says in Joshua 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. To you, Father, I give all the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Embracing a godly mindset is not just a choice, it's a must-have. A godly attitude goes beyond the ordinary. It's about pleasing God in every aspect of life. Imagine striving to delight the Lord with your thoughts. So, my dear friend, let's break the habit of merely presenting our wish lists to God. Instead, let's approach Him with a heartfelt plea for personal transformation. Ask the Lord to shape your character, to work within you. As believers, it's crucial not to fall into the trap of complacency. Getting too comfortable can be perilous, a place where there's no real passion for God, no fire, no spark. It's risky to find yourself in a lukewarm state, lacking the hunger and desire to pursue the Lord wholeheartedly. Let's be cautious not to settle or take God's blessings for granted. In our quest for a deeper connection, may we never lose sight of the flames that fuel our faith. I urge you to make this prayer your own. Lord, keep me from becoming lukewarm and too comfortable as a Christian. Let your fire burn brightly within my heart. Believers, never forget the power of gratitude. Failing to thank the Lord is a signal of an unrepentant heart. Take a moment to reflect. When was the last time you sincerely thanked the Lord? Often we overlook the basic blessings like health, a bed to sleep on, food in our stomachs, electricity and shelter. These might seem ordinary, but they are extraordinary gifts we often take for granted. Connect with someone who lacks shelter or struggles to find a meal, and you'll quickly realize how blessed you are. So let's ask ourselves, when was the last time we truly appreciated the love the Lord has showered upon us? John 3 verse 16 reveals the profound depth of God's love. The Bible tells us, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. This is a love worth being eternally grateful for. Christ sacrificed himself so that we may have everlasting life, such a selfless act that demands our gratitude. Reflect on the immense physical suffering Jesus endured out of love. Isaiah 53 verse 5 states, But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Knowing the sacrifice Christ made on the cross for you and me, how can we ever become too comfortable? 
His love was so great that he bore wounds, bruises and punishment out of pure love. The least we can do is carry a thankful attitude. As believers, let's not settle, but instead cultivate an unquenchable thirst for a deep relationship with Jesus Christ, who, out of love, laid down his life for us. Pause and ask yourself, when was the last time you simply thanked the Lord for his goodness? Have you praised him for the gift of a sound mind, for ears that hear and eyes that see? These are the blessings of the Lord that we should never take for granted. Even if your body carries pain, you can still move, still walk. This is God's goodness. Good health is a precious gift from the Lord. Some may have an abundance of food but struggle with health issues that limit their freedom to eat. Others may possess wealth yet money cannot restore their health. Some may hold what seems like the perfect job but that job doesn't guarantee peace of mind. Let's always remember never to grow too comfortable and to remain consistently thankful. As 1 Chronicles 16 verse 34 beautifully puts it, O oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. Now let us pray. Dear King Jesus, I lift my voice in praise for your amazing grace, and I am in awe of your everlasting love. Your multitude of mercies overwhelms me. You have blessed me with a sound mind, peace in my heart, and strength in my body. I recognize that these blessings are not mere luck or fortune, but a result of your faithfulness and goodness. Help me, Lord, to resist envy and covetousness. May greed never find a place in my heart. Grant me a heart that is content and brimming with gratitude, never overlooking the blessings you have bestowed upon me. I am grateful for your protection, Lord. I don't know what each day holds, but I trust in your divine protection. Recognizing my limited power to safeguard myself, I acknowledge that it is by your grace and mercy that I am safely kept each day. You, my Lord, have shielded and watched over me faithfully. Your promise from 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 13 echoes in my heart. The Lord is faithful. He will establish and guard you against the evil one. I am truly grateful for this assurance, King Jesus. Throughout my life, you've proven your faithfulness, shielding me from both known and unknown attacks. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 16, your word resonates. Be strong and courageous, do not fear, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Father, I praise you for this unwavering promise. No matter what challenges surround me, I'm not crushed. For Jesus Christ has vowed to stand by me, never to leave nor forsake me. Your constant protection is my source of strength and courage. Even when I feel lost and confused, I find comfort knowing I'm not alone. Lord Jesus, even in tough times, I sense your presence. You're a faithful God, always keeping your promises. Life may throw challenges my way, but I remain grateful and assured that I won't be defeated. You, Lord, are truly good. Your constant goodness has seen me through, giving me the strength for each day. Even when things aren't perfect, I'm thankful for your unwavering support. Your presence is my solace, and I appreciate you watching over me. Looking back, I see the journey you've guided me through. From where I started to where I am now, I'm overwhelmed with gratitude. You've blessed me and elevated me to new heights. Thank you, Lord, for your enduring love that never falters. Lord Jesus, I humbly pray that I never settle into a comfortable routine in my relationship with you. May I not be a lukewarm believer. Instead, I ask the Holy Spirit to stir my heart continually, convicting me of my need, hunger and thirst for you. I desire a relentless pursuit of you, Jesus. May I never be satisfied but constantly crave more of your presence, more of your love and a deeper experience with you. I lift your holy name, thanking you for hearing my prayer. May you be uplifted and glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. In Colossians 3, verse 123 to 24, the Apostle Paul encourages us to approach our work with enthusiasm, as if we're working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward you with an inheritance, and you are ultimately serving Christ. Now, let's delve into the profound words about love. Love as beautifully described, is patient, kind, humble, and selfless. It doesn't hold grudges, and it rejoices in the truth. Love is a constant source of protection, trust, hope, and preservation. 
it never fails. Reflecting on the Bible's profound message, it emphasizes God's immense love for the world. He sacrificed his only son so that those who believe in him will have eternal life. The verses also highlight the suffering endured for our transgressions, bringing healing through his wounds. In these passages, we find guidance for our work and a profound understanding of the enduring nature of God's love and sacrifice for humanity. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, you are my ultimate defender and powerful protector. In Revelation 12, verse 11, it's written that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, not loving our lives to the death. I am blessed to be covered by your precious blood. I declare that I can overcome any challenge through the blood of Jesus Christ and my testimony. So I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and my family. My testimony is that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is victorious and triumphant. I affirm that the one in me is greater than the one in the world. Lord Jesus, you've never lost a battle, and I place my confidence in you. You are the reason I am more than a conqueror, filling my heart with boldness and courage. Thank you for being the source of my strength. Psalm 138 verse 7 to 8 assures me that even when I face challenges, you, Lord, will revive and uplift me. Your hand will confront any opposition, and your right hand will rescue me. I take comfort in knowing that you will perfect all that concerns me, straightening my path and removing obstacles. Your enduring mercy, Lord, brings me solace. I trust that you won't abandon the work of your hands, and I find encouragement in your promise to perfect the things that matter to me. You are a God of order, and I believe you will set everything right. As the psalmist declares, I am confident that you will prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. I praise you, Lord, for your awesomeness and faithfulness. I seek your constant presence as Isaiah 59 verse 19 assures me that when the enemy surrounds me like a flood, your spirit will raise a standard against them. Stand with me always, Lord, and be glorified. Lord Jesus, I lift my praise to you because in the face of the enemy's attacks on me and my family, your faithfulness is unwavering. I find strength in the promises within your word, promises that grant me authority in your name. I declare with confidence that the enemy cannot overpower me, for I am anchored in the assurance that though a thousand may fall around me, it will not come near me. I am at peace, free from fear, as you have not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. In this assurance, I declare that all is well because you are for me. With God on my side, no one can stand against me. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, your power and might are so great that even the earth is your footstool. Thank you, Lord, for your unyielding faithfulness as my great deliverer. I appreciate your attentive ear to my prayers. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. As you draw nearer to Jesus Christ, discover the richness of his character. A wonderful counselor, a mighty God, an eternal father, and the prince of peace, according to Isaiah 9, verse 6. May the peace bestowed by the Lord envelop your heart and cover your life. Fix your gaze on the perfect work accomplished on the cross, and let your faith stand firm on the solid rock that is Jesus Christ. In your pursuit of God's presence, may you encounter joy, triumph, victory, and gladness. As believers, when we root ourselves in godly things, we gain access to the gift of peace offered through Jesus Christ. Open your heart to receive this gift, and you will find a peace that transcends troubles. Though challenges may arise, the peace of the Lord will guard you against fear. May the peace with a cause, a peace that brings about results and effects, be yours. Embrace this gift, and you'll navigate through uncertainties unafraid, anchored in the peace that surpasses understanding. In the midst of life's storms, the peace of the Lord will anchor you, keeping you unshaken. Even as you walk through challenging times, the peace given by Jesus Christ will dispel fear, ensuring that you are not moved. The peace bestowed upon us by Jesus has a profound positive effect on our lives. Therefore, cultivating a deeper intimacy with Jesus is key to experiencing true and lasting peace. In John 14 verse 27, Jesus assures us of the peace he leaves with us, a peace distinct from the world's offerings. In moments of chaos and trouble, Lord, grant me your peace. Let my heart remain untroubled and unafraid, recognizing that you, my God, 
are a consuming fire. May my soul stand firm, unshaken, for the one within me is greater than anything in the world. When life gets turbulent, I trust that my God is a waymaker. As I pray against anxiety, worry, stress and fear, fill me with the spirit of power, love and a sound mind that you've graciously given. Let your peace soothe my heart and spirit, ensuring that I stand firm in your unwavering strength. Heavenly Father, I come before you, seeking the infiltration of your spirit into my mind, my home and my heart. Your promise of a peace that surpasses all human understanding is one I wholeheartedly receive. I pray for the gentle and loving touch of your hand to open my heart and grant me an unshakable peace. In moments of heaviness, may your spirit calm my heart, serving as my comfort when life seems broken. Your word and your presence have the power to restore me. I declare that there is peace in my life because I have laid my burdens down before you. In your hands and under your care, I find tranquility. I praise you for the abundant mercy and grace that reigns over my entire life. In times of weariness, you renew my strength. Father, bring peace to my soul as I seek you. In your presence, there is a peace that can guard my heart and mind. I lean not on my own understanding, but trust in you, the all-knowing God. Heal and remove everything that unsettles me. When the enemy attempts to steal my joy, calm my spirit and ease my troubled heart, let your peace rule within me, Lord Jesus. I declare and claim all your promises and blessings of peace and strength over my life. Thank you for hearing this prayer. Amen. There's a story about a man who witnessed a major accident on a highway. Multiple cars were involved, and he saw it unfold in real time. As the chaos unfolded, the man's focus shifted from navigating the road to observing the disaster. Unfortunately, he too ended up in an accident because he wasn't paying attention. Similarly, many Christians find themselves in the world but become distracted by the events around them. Their attention is drawn to the distractions of this world. The Bible, in Matthew 26 verse 41, advises us to actively watch and pray to avoid falling into temptation. It acknowledges the willingness of the spirit, but emphasizes the weakness of the body. We are not only told to watch and focus, but also to maintain a continuous prayer life to avoid losing our focus. As Christians, our attention shouldn't be consumed by the sickness, various strains and diseases prevalent in the world. Instead, our focus should be on the healer, the ultimate physician who healed all those who approached with faith. Similarly, we are not to fixate on the violence, tragedies and disasters happening globally. Our gaze should be on the ultimate protector, dwelling under the shadow of the Almighty. In essence, the message is clear. Focus on Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Rather than succumbing to dread and fear offered by the world, concentrate on the Deliverer, Jesus Christ. Focusing on sin will not set you free. It is through focusing on Jesus that true freedom is found. Absolutely, your focus determines what becomes magnified in your life. If you choose to concentrate on your addiction, stronghold or bondage, those issues will seem to grow larger. What you focus on gets magnified and it tends to become more significant in your life. An illustration from Matthew 14 verse 28 to 30 shows how Peter, while walking on water towards Jesus, began to sink when he took his focus away and became afraid of the boisterous wind. Similarly, when we focus on the chaos and challenges around us, fear can overwhelm us. However, by fixing our gaze on Jesus, the Prince of Peace, we can find joy and hope even in the midst of trouble. Just as Peter was able to walk on water when he kept his eyes on Jesus, we too can navigate through difficulties with confidence and faith when our focus remains on the Lord. Dear Lord, we come together in prayer, seeking your guidance and strength. Help us, Father, to keep our focus on you. Keep our hearts fixated on your word, preventing us from drifting in the same direction as the world. Holy Spirit, stir within us the devotion to do God's work, to focus on that which is eternal and pleasing to the Lord. Guide us to meditate on your word every day, providing us with scripture to feed on and verses to focus on, so that our faith and focus remain firmly anchored in Christ. 
I pray for everyone listening, that they may be drawn to seek your face and find refuge in your secret place. Cover, protect, secure, defend, shield, and hide every man and woman of God under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, I declare that we are hidden from the sight of a vill and the devil will not be able to lay a hand on us or our families because we are protected by God Almighty. Dear Lord Jesus, we seek you as our safe place, our peaceful sanctuary. May your presence reside in our homes, hearts and minds. I lift up every son and daughter of God who agrees with this prayer. In the midst of storms that seem endless, grant us supernatural strength. When the enemy attempts to steal our joy, may he fail and be crushed by the angels of the Lord surrounding those who fear you. I pray for an overwhelming peace and divine joy to dwell at the center of our hearts. For anyone feeling uneasy, may the Lord calm their spirit. I declare that it is well with their soul, well in their home, and well in their life. May the Holy Spirit grant boldness and courage. May every child of God stand strong and firm in faith. I decree and declare that fear, worry and anxiety will not be found in any area of their lives. In the name of Jesus we claim your promise, declaring, Surely goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. In the name of Jesus I declare victory over every mountain, giant and obstacle set by the enemy. I'm grateful for the power accessible through your blood, enabling me to overcome daily, to be blessed each day, waking up in your grace and mercies. Lord, we choose to trust in you every day, every hour, and every moment of our lives. You gave your life on the cross to set us free. As Psalm 91 verse 2 affirms, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Lord, we confess this truth in our lives as believers in Jesus Christ. You are indeed our refuge, our hiding place. We bless your name, giving you honor, glory, and praise. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. There are times when immersing yourself in the Word of God is essential. In those moments, a sermon or a word of encouragement may not be enough. It's about connecting directly with God through His Word. Today, as we delve into these scriptures, I pray that God's Spirit moves within your heart, mind and soul, stirring up your faith. May these words find you wherever you are, in whatever situation, reminding you that the Lord cares, loves you, and His promises stand true. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3 to 4 declares, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Take away this truth. Our God is compassionate and he has given us the Holy Spirit to comfort us in every trial and trouble. Your challenges may be painful and unpleasant, but one constant remains, we serve a compassionate and loving God who comforts us in all our troubles. Indeed, further scriptures worth meditating on include Romans 15 verse 13. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Additionally, Psalm 23 verse 4 offers profound comfort. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I appreciate how the psalmist declares, even though. It's a powerful acknowledgement that regardless of the circumstances, fear cannot prevail because God is with us. Even in the darkest moments when hope seems distant, we need not fear evil because God's presence brings comfort and reassurance. Let's strive to embody this even though kind of faith, trusting unwaveringly in God's presence with us. Ultimately, with Jesus Christ by our side, no obstacle is insurmountable, for if God is for us, who can stand against us? Moreover, Romans 8 verse 28 assures us, And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to His purpose. These scriptures, among many others in the Bible, convey in various ways that God cares for you, looks out for you, and is working things out in your favor. He orders your steps and has a purpose for you. Let's pray together, Lord God Almighty, in this often dark world, we look to you, Jesus, to be the bright lamp that guides our feet. I pray, Lord, that every past hurt, every mistake, and every loss weighing heavily on the heart of anyone listening may be removed by your everlasting power. May your comforting presence bring healing 
and may your purpose prevail in their lives. Let them experience the truth of your word, that all things work together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. I pray that these words reach someone with a heavy or broken heart, and I want to encourage that person to look to Jesus, have faith in him, and hold on to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He will surely see you through. Philippians 4 verse 6 to 8 offers a powerful reminder. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Our hope for tomorrow is anchored in you, Lord, for you never fail. Our faith is in you because you are faithful, even when we are faithless. Despite the pain and circumstances, we choose to trust you and pray today. We choose not to be anxious or worry, believing that you are always with us and in control. I lift up everyone listening, declaring that broken hearts are mended today in the name of Jesus, and troubled minds are given peace. May the peace that surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Holy Spirit, I ask you to draw so close to us that we can feel your presence in our hearts and homes. We cast all our burdens upon you, Lord, leaning on you, for where else can we run but to you? You have delivered and healed in the past, and we trust that you will do it again. In every season of our lives, may you lead us. Thank you for the reminder throughout your word that we do not face storms alone, for you are always with us, whispering calm, speaking peace, and bringing rest to our souls. We believe in you, just as your word says in 2 Corinthians. Though we may be afflicted, perplexed, persecuted and struck down, we are not crushed, driven to despair, forsaken or destroyed. I thank you for caring for us, Lord, and I pray that the peace of your loving and strong presence guards and protects the hearts and minds of each person listening. Only the peace that comes from you can calm our hearts and sustain us through the troubles of life. Help us not to let our hearts be troubled, for that is not your will for us. Almighty and merciful God, as we come before you today, we are humbled by your greatness and overwhelmed by your love. You are the creator of all things, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. In your presence we find peace, strength and comfort. We thank you, Lord, for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon us. From the gift of life to the air we breathe, from the love of family and friends to the beauty of creation, every good thing comes from you. You are the source of all goodness and we praise your holy name. Yet, Lord, we also come to you with our burdens and our struggles. We lift up to you our worries, anxieties and fears. We lay before you our brokenness, our pain and our sorrow. You know the depths of our hearts and you understand our every need. Father, we pray for healing and restoration in our lives and in the lives of those we love. Heal the sick, comfort the grieving and bring hope to the despairing. Strengthen the weak, uplift the downtrodden and provide for the needy. Let your light shine in the darkness and let your love conquer all. We lift up to you our families, our communities and our world. Guide our leaders with wisdom and compassion that they may govern justly and promote peace. Protect the vulnerable, defend the oppressed and bring justice to the oppressed. Unite us in love and understanding that we may build a world of harmony and cooperation. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice on the cross and for the redemption you offer to all who believe in you. May we never forget the price you paid for our salvation, and may we live each day in gratitude and obedience to your will. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we may be empowered to serve you faithfully and bear witness to your love. Help us to forgive as you have forgiven us, to love as you have loved us, and to live as children of the light in a world that often seems dark. Grant us the courage to speak truth, the strength to stand firm, and the compassion to reach out to those in need. Lord, we know that we are not worthy of your grace, yet you lavish it upon us without measure. You are a God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. We thank you for your faithfulness, your faithfulness that endures forever. 
in all things, may your will be done, and may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Heavenly Father, in the quiet moments of our lives we seek your guidance and wisdom. Grant us discernment to recognise your voice amidst the noise of the world. Speak to us through your word and help us to be still and know that you are God. Lord, we bring before you the concerns of our hearts, trusting that you hear our prayers. You know the struggles we face, the challenges that seem insurmountable, and the questions that linger in our minds. We surrender our uncertainties to you, knowing that you are the God who holds all things in your hands. We pray for the strength to persevere in times of trial, the patience to endure in seasons of waiting, and the courage to step out in faith when you call us to new horizons. May your Holy Spirit guide us in every decision, and may our lives be a reflection of your grace and mercy. As we navigate the complexities of life, Lord, help us to be lights in the darkness. Equip us to share the message of your love and salvation with a world that desperately needs your grace. Open doors for us to be instruments of your peace, compassion and reconciliation. We pray for our loved ones who may be far from you. Draw them near, Lord, and let the seeds of faith take root in their hearts. May they come to experience the transformative power of your love and surrender their lives to you. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of coming before your throne with our prayers. Your grace abounds and your mercy is unfailing. May our lives be a living testimony to your goodness and may we glorify you in all we do. In the name of Jesus, our Redeemer and friend, we pray. Amen. How can you find inner peace, the kind that lets you stay calm no matter what's happening around or to you? Imagine the early church, where believers faced severe persecution. Many were so strong in their faith that they chose death over denying Jesus Christ. In their final moments, they were often filled with such peace and joy that they would sing praises to God or recite the Bible. These Christians were ripped from their families and thrown into harsh prisons, yet they continued to pray, seek God and stay at peace. I often wonder, how can someone reach a point where, despite intense discomfort and pain, they still live with the joy of the Lord as their strength. Here's a powerful passage from Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 8 that offers some insight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Let me share my interpretation of this verse. We're being told to trust God with your whole heart, even when you don't understand what's happening, even when you have no idea what God is doing. When you seek God's will in all you do, He will show you the right path to take. So, dear listener, I ask you, where have you placed your trust? Are you relying on someone or something else for your future to feel secure? Wherever your trust lies today, I urge you to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Life may be painful right now, your circumstances may be tough, but dear friends, trust God. The healing might not come instantly, and the miracle might not be sudden. But when you know that God is with you, you will find inner peace amid the chaos. Proverbs 3 verse 8 literally says that trusting in God will bring health to your flesh and strength to your bones. Trusting in the Lord will be the source of your courage and the reason for your boldness. So, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Refuse to believe that you know better or that you can manage better on your own. Psalm 37 verse 1 to 5 says, Do not fret because of those who are evil or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord and trust in Him, and He will do this. So, dear friends, as we prepare to approach God in prayer, let us ask for greater trust in Him. Let us resolve that no matter what things look like, no matter what we hear, no reports we have read will override our trust in Christ. We will position our hearts to trust what we read in the Word of God more than any report, any action, or even what our own bodies are telling us. We will choose to trust in God and rely on His Word. 
Now let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm praying for the one who's listening and believing in agreement with me today. Father, open their hearts to your will and your ways. Open their hearts so that they might lean back and fall into your loving hands. Lord, in this world I pray that if we are to fall, may we learn to fall onto our knees in prayer, seeking and believing in you. For the person who's listening, I pray that they will trust God first before placing their trust in people, places, things, science or even remedies. May their heart be inclined. May it be willing to trust God first and trust that he will fulfill every one of his promises. I pray and encourage you to take all of your problems, all of your worries and bring them to Jesus. I pray that you won't struggle with whatever burdens you have, but instead, take them to the Master. Be obedient to God's word, which says in Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Dear listener, I pray that you'll go to the Lord Jesus and trust him to carry all your burdens and give you peace. May he give you rest. I pray that you will have a willing heart, one that trusts God fully at his word, and that you may never try to bear those burdens alone. Holy Spirit, help us. Help us to realize that our human tendency to think we can fix everything in an earthly manner is wrong. That way of thinking will let us down. We often think we have the solution to life's unpredictable events, tribulations or problems, but we really don't, God. It's you who is truly in control, and therefore, you have all the solutions. Holy Spirit, I pray that you remind us that God's word is here, that you are here, so we don't have to struggle alone. After all, we are not our own. We have a master, the one who made us in his image, the one who wants to solve our problems and our difficulties. We have Jesus Christ, the living Son of God, who cares for us. He asks us to cast our burdens on him so that he can sustain us daily. He will renew our strength even in the face of adversity. We don't have to bear our burdens alone because in Jesus Christ, there are still waters and green pastures. In Jesus, there is hope and peace. I pray to cast down the spirit and idol of self-reliance. I pray that mindset will never entrap us. For each person hearing my voice, I pray their minds and hearts will break free from self-reliance and claim their rest in Jesus Christ. He is a God who loves us with an everlasting love, a love that reaches out to us daily. Matthew 6 verse 25 says, That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? So I pray for every person listening today, may you cast your cares on him and do it today. Take your problems to Jesus so that he can set you free, free you from your yoke of bondage. May your name be blessed forever, King Jesus. May you be magnified forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. If you read Romans 13, verse 9 to 11, the Bible tells you not to leave any debt outstanding, not to commit adultery, not to steal, not to covet, but instead to love your neighbor as yourself. It sums all of this up in verse 11. Besides this, you know the time, that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. Listen, there should be an urgency about time in our lives as believers. We only have so much time to get our lives together. Let us live with wisdom and purpose, fully trusting in God's timing and guidance. You see, someone might get sick but recover in such a way that they can only acknowledge the hand of God and the miracle-working power of the blood of Jesus. Someone's plans might get disrupted, only to find that the disruption led them to a better destination. Someone's plans might get delayed, but that might be God's way of saying, not yet, I have something better in store, I have a better time in mind. Every crisis in life is not bad for you. Sometimes God uses adversity and places you in tough situations for you to grow, develop stronger faith and mature. So the next time a problem presents itself, the next time you face a crisis, stop for a moment and ask God, what do you want me to learn from this? What do you want to develop within me? Now let us pray. Father, your word in James 4 verse 14 says, Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapour that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. This is a sobering reminder of how short our life on this earth really is. So, Lord Jesus, 
Right now we run to you and cling to you, for salvation can only be found in you, eternal life can only be found in you. Help us, Master, to live this life for your glory. Help us to live a life that always seeks to obey your will and your commands. God, I desire to be an effective Christian, one who has a burning passion to witness about the amazing love of Jesus Christ. Father, give us hearts that are sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Give us hearts that are sensitive to the voice of Jesus Christ so that whenever you speak, we will hear your voice and know your voice. Help us to tune out every voice from this world and give us a spirit that is able to discern good from evil. And Lord, as this world keeps straying farther from you every day, I pray that I would draw closer and closer to you. Every day, as your children, Father, give us the wisdom and ability to discern and recognize when Satan is trying to deceive us and lead us away from you. Father, help us so that we would not backslide in our faith or begin to compromise with sin. Help us to be faithful servants up until the day you return. Lord, make our hearts receptive to you. Help us to recognize your hand in every earthly matter. Your word in Ezekiel 36 verse 26 to 27 says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my judgments and do them. God, right now we receive your spirit. We receive the Holy Spirit. And according to your word, you will put your spirit within us and cause us to walk in your statutes. Holy Spirit, empower us to walk in holiness. Empower us to walk with the eyes of faith. Empower us to walk in alignment with God's word. Help us, Holy Spirit, so that we can let go of every sin, every idol, every addiction that weighs us down, and instead walk our walk with Christ. Set our hearts ablaze for you and for your kingdom, Lord. Don't allow us to be lukewarm. Stir our spirits up and awaken a hunger within us for you and you alone. Lord, I bless your holy name and thank you for listening to this prayer. It's in the matchless name of Jesus Christ that I pray. Amen. Do you obey God and his word? To grow as believers, we must carefully study God's word and strive to follow the example set by Jesus Christ during his time on earth. Philippians 2 verse 5 instructs us to have the same attitude as Christ Jesus. Consider the example of Jesus in Mark 1 verse 35. Very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Why does the Bible emphasize this detail? It shows us the importance of starting the day in prayer. When we prioritize seeking the Lord at the beginning of our day, we set the tone to continue in God's presence throughout the day. Praying in the morning helps align our spirit with God's will and purpose for our lives. It sensitizes us to hear His voice and be led by His Spirit throughout the day. By establishing a practice of seeking God first each day, we declare to Him that He is the most important in our lives. Having a set time for morning prayer tunes our spirit to receive from the Holy Spirit direction, insight and guidance for the day ahead. It prepares us for divine appointments and opportunities to minister to others or receive encouragement ourselves. Jesus himself often withdrew to pray, sometimes spending entire nights in communion with the Father. He aligned himself with God's will and received guidance for his mission. If Jesus, the Son of God, needed this communion with the Father, how much more do we need it? Let us therefore make it a practice to seek God first each morning through prayer aligning ourselves with his will and seeking his guidance for our lives. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we come before you with praise and glorify your holy name. Your word in Psalm 118 verse 24 declares, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for this new day. We confess that the joy of the Lord is our strength. You are our source of strength to overcome every challenge and we place all our focus and attention on you. Lord, we magnify you above every trouble that tomorrow may bring, above health crises, financial setbacks, and every problem. We choose not to worry about tomorrow because your grace is sufficient for us and your strength is made perfect in our weakness. We boast in our weaknesses, knowing that the power of Christ rests upon us. Thank you, Lord, for being with us always. Your grace is always available and sufficient for all our needs. We choose to focus on you, the healer instead of sickness, the provider instead of lack, 
and the waymaker instead of obstacles. In you, King Jesus, we find favor, protection, and mercy. Lord Jesus, we invite you to move mightily in our lives. Clear every trap set by the enemy in our path. Guard our minds against discouraging and depressing thoughts. We rebuke all thoughts of worry and anxiety about the future, and we choose to have peace through faith in you. Even in this moment, Lord, help us to keep our minds focused on you. Psalm 143 verse 8 says, Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. You are faithful to deliver those who trust in you. We cast all our cares and worries upon you, Lord, knowing that you neither sleep nor slumber. Thank you for your mercy and grace and for hearing our prayers. We will continue to look to you and trust in your word. I bless your holy name, Lord, and thank you for hearing this prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart filled with gratitude for your goodness and faithfulness in my life. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and in you I find my strength, my hope, and my salvation. Lord, strengthen my faith in you. When doubts assail me and fears threaten to overwhelm, remind me of your promises that never fail. Help me to fix my eyes on you, the author and perfecter of my faith, knowing that with you all things are possible. Grant me the courage to persevere in faithfulness, even when the road ahead seems long and arduous. May I run with endurance the race set before me, keeping my eyes on the prize of knowing you more deeply and serving you faithfully. Lord, I surrender my weaknesses and inadequacies to you. In my moments of weakness, may your power be made perfect. Fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit that I may walk in your strength and not my own. Father, I pray for renewal in every area of my life, spiritually, emotionally, physically, and mentally. Pour out your refreshing and rejuvenating spirit upon me, bringing healing where there is brokenness, restoration where there is weariness, and peace where there is turmoil. Renew my mind, O God, with your truth. May I meditate on your word day and night, finding wisdom and understanding for every situation. Let your word be a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, guiding me in righteousness and truth. I lift up to you, Lord, those who are struggling with faith and hope. Bring comfort to the discouraged, strength to the weary, and reassurance to the uncertain. May they experience the depth of your love and the power of your presence in their lives. Help me, O God, to be a vessel of your love and grace to those around me. Give me eyes to see the needs of others, a heart that is quick to show compassion, and hands that are ready to serve. May my life be a reflection of your love and a testimony to your faithfulness. Lord, I pray for unity and harmony in our communities and nations. Where there is division, bring reconciliation. Where there is hatred, sow seeds of love and forgiveness. Help us to embrace one another with genuine compassion and understanding, recognizing the dignity and worth of every person created in your image. Father, I commit my plans and dreams to you, trusting that you will establish my steps according to your perfect will. May I walk in obedience to your word, seeking first your kingdom and your righteousness, and trusting that you will provide all that I need. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness that endures through all generations, you are my rock and my salvation, my refuge and my strength. May my life bring glory to your name and honour to your kingdom. Heavenly Father, I come before you with a heart burdened by the brokenness and pain in our world. You are the God of peace, and I seek your presence to bring comfort, healing and restoration to those who are hurting. Lord, you are the Prince of Peace, and in you alone can true peace be found. I pray for your peace to reign in every corner of our world. Where there is conflict, bring reconciliation. Where there is hatred, sow seeds of love. Where there is despair, bring hope. Grant wisdom to leaders and decision makers that they may work for justice and promote harmony among nations and communities. Strengthen those who work tirelessly for peace and unity and grant them perseverance and courage in their endeavors. Lord. I lift up to you those who are suffering physically, emotionally or spiritually. Bring healing and wholeness to the sick, comfort to the grieving and strength to the weary. 
Pour out your compassion upon them, O God, and surround them with your loving presence. I pray for those who are struggling with mental health challenges, anxiety or depression. Bring them peace that surpasses understanding and surround them with a supportive community of love and care. Father, I pray for families and relationships that are broken or strained. Bring reconciliation and healing where there is division, forgiveness where there is hurt, and restoration where there is brokenness. May your love mend what is torn apart and bring unity where there is discord. Father, I pray for spiritual renewal and revival in our communities and churches. Stir our hearts with a passion for your kingdom and a hunger for your word. May your Holy Spirit work mightily among us, drawing people to yourself and transforming lives for your glory. Help us, O God, to be agents of your peace and healing in our spheres of influence. Equip us with your love and compassion to reach out to those who are hurting and to offer them the hope that is found in Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart full of gratitude for your countless blessings in my life. You are the giver of every good gift, and I thank you for your provision, protection and presence. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for each new day you graciously give. Thank you for the love of family and friends, for the beauty of creation that surrounds me, and for the opportunities to grow and serve in your kingdom. Lord, I seek your guidance in every area of my life. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Lead me, O God, in the way that I should go. Grant me wisdom and discernment to make decisions that honour you and align with your perfect will. In moments of uncertainty, may I trust in your unfailing promises and lean not on my own understanding. Help me to surrender my plans and desires to you, knowing that you have plans for me that are good, plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. Father, I pray for strength to face the challenges and obstacles that lie ahead. When I am weak, may your strength be made perfect in me. Fill me afresh with your Holy Spirit, that I may walk in your power and courageously follow where you lead. Help me to be a light in the darkness, sharing your love and truth with those around me. Use me, O God, as your instrument of peace and reconciliation, bringing hope and healing to a broken world. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness that never fails. You are my rock and my salvation, my refuge and strength. May my life be a living testimony of your goodness and grace, bringing glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Leave a like for this video and share it at least one time to help us reach more people. Spread the gospel and change more lives by comment using the word Amen. To further support the dissemination of this message, consider sharing this video with a friend or family member. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to stay updated with more content that nourishes the soul and uplifts the spirit. See you at next video.